Hi, I'm Pat, and welcome back to our Facebook Science Experiments. Today we're going to be doing an experiment um, creating a Leyden jar. Now, what is a Leyden jar? Um, a Leyden jar is basically a device that stores electricity. Um, in modern day TVs, there are things called capacitors that do much the same thing. Now, for today's experiment, there are quite a few things you're actually going to need. First of all, you're going to need to find an empty plastic container. I have an old film canister here. Um, you can also use it in an old peanut butter jar or a fruit jar. You just need to make sure that it's either plastic or glass and that it has a either plastic, uh, plastic lid or a soft lid that you can punch a hole through easily. You're going to need just a little bit of tape. You're going to want a paper clip. You're going to need a styrofoam plate or bowl. I'd recommend a plate if you have those. They work a little better. Uh, you're going to need a piece of fabric that's nice and fluffy. Here I have a piece of wool. You can use a sweater, um, even just a shirt that has kind of a rough texture to it. You're going to need some aluminum foil, and finally, you're going to need some water as well. Now, the first step for this experiment is to take your plastic jar and your paper clip, and you're going to bend your paper clip so you have a little point to it. So just kind of bend it up. And you're going to make either a hole in your lid or you want to poke your paper clip through there. And you're not going to want to poke it to the very bottom. You're going to want to poke it in there so it just gets pretty close to the bottom. So if you look at that right there. We're not quite touching the bottom, that'll be just about the perfect depth. Uh, what you're going to do next then is you're going to take some of your aluminum foil, you're going to rip it off a little bit, and you're going to want to line the inside of your container. You're going to make your foil about three quarters of the way up your container. Once you do that, you're going to take a little more aluminum foil, and rip that off, and you're going to want to line the outside of your container. And you want to make sure that you cover up the bottom as well. And then you can tape that on there because you want it to stay on there nice and well. And what this aluminum foil is doing is it's going to act kind of like an insulator and also a conductor as well. Because our next step is going to be to pour some water inside. And you want to fill up your jar about to the level of your foil. Now once you have all your water inside your container, go ahead and put the cap back on and you've created your Leiden jar. Now what's going to happen is we're going to create some static electricity we're going to transfer it into our paper clip. It's going to transfer into that water in that jar and it's going to be stored in there. And what's going to happen is that negative charge that, that static electricity has is not going to be able to escape because of these two layers of aluminum foil. They're going to actually keep that charge in there and they're actually going to build up that charge as well. Now to charge our Leiden jar, I'm going to take my wool and our styrofoam plate and I'm just going to rub it for about 5 to 10 seconds or so. And then I'm going to bring my plate up to near my jar. And you should hear a little kind of staticky sound when you get close to your paper clip. That's that electricity transferring. So let's look at a different view of this. So you can see when I'm rubbing the wool on the plate there, we're building up that static electricity. When you bring the plate near the paper clip, those electrons are actually going to transfer right down through that paper clip, which is an excellent conductor. And they're going to end up being in that water there where they'll kind of get trapped between the foils. And you want to do this about four or five times. And now it's just being stored in the jar. Now once you have your jar all charged up, what you can do then is you can actually then have some fun with your friends if you want to. Um, just to kind of uncharge it. So all you need to do is you need to make sure that you hold on to the bottom foil here. And then if someone comes along and touches this paper clip, they will actually receive that charge that's stored up inside this jar. So you can see our charge stored up in the jar. And then the conductor comes near it. Those electrons are going to flow out of there and discharge the jar. Now your friend's hand is also an excellent conductor as well. So what you can do is you can hold this up and say, here, go ahead and touch this. And if they touch the paper clip, you should get a little bit of a shock there. So it's kind of a fun experiment you can do. Now, I used a film container here. You can use, as I said, other things. Here's one that I made using a fruit jar. Uh, so obviously you can make some pretty big Leiden jars and store a little more electricity in here. So have fun with this experiment, and we'll see you guys in the future.